During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about hybrid versus inbred corn. Well, when you think about corn yields uh, and you look back to what happened in 1900 versus the yields that we've got today, it's a tremendous growth curve. What was the big spike all about? It was hybrid corn. So we wanted to talk about this a little bit. Just as a basic term, if you're a non-farmer, we want you to understand what is hybrid corn exactly. I'm sure you're probably aware, yes, while there is corn, there are different varieties of corn. Some are taller, some are shorter, some yield more, some have better disease tolerance. We've got all these different varieties of corn, okay? But a lot of people will just plant one variety in a field. If you take the pollen from the tassel and that fertilizes the ear, well that in effect is what we would call inbred corn. In that, hey, it's the same variety of corn fertilizing the same variety of corn. With hybrid corn, what you do is you take one variety and you fertilize the other variety. So now you've got two different varieties and that makes the hybrid. And I'm sure if you've driven through farm country in the summer or if you farm yourself, you've seen this before in production. Uh, you know what a cornfield looks like when it's all the same, but then every once in a while you see this other kind of cornfield where there's a few rows that look different than a row or two, and then a few rows that look the same again and, and all throughout that field. What happens is with the two varieties like Brian was talking about, they will actually cut the tassels off uh, off of one of the two varieties. The female variety. Yeah, the tassel is actually the male portion of the plant. So if they cut all the tassels off, there'll be no pollen shed from that one variety. Now, there'll be a row or two that are the male variety. Those ones, they will take all the pollen from the variety to pollinate the rest of the field. And in the meantime, they'll cover up uh, the ears so we don't have any pollination going on on that particular plant. So there won't be any ears on that plant with kernels on them. So basically the plant breeders identify which are the best male ones to match up with the best female ones and then they plant those together in the same field but during the year then they have to go through and detassel certain ones, cover other ears, all that or, kind of thing. Or they could just cut the male rows out right. if they just want to eliminate the male rows after pollination is done. Fine, we'll just wipe out the male rows. Now the challenge in production of, of hybrid corn, it, it's great and farmers really like that they have this more aggressive corn hybrid that's out in the field. It's going to yield more for them, but the guys that are producing the seed really have to worry about weed control because now we talk a lot on Ag PhD about how crop canopy holds weeds back. Well imagine taking the top part of the plants off on the female varieties then cutting the entire plant out of the male rows now all of a sudden there's lots of sunlight getting down to the ground and weed control can become a challenge but but we figured out ways to manage that too. So once again this hybrid versus inbred corn thing is a really big deal. Without hybrid corn today we would have far inferior yields than what we do right now. So thank goodness somebody came up with the idea of crossing one variety with another variety to develop hybrid corn almost a century ago. Well another thing that's leading to more yields is better weed control. Can you identify our weed of the week? 